Jakes, when did you discover that you were going to carry the message of the Most High? From the day I hear the name of Rastafari, I know that was the calling of I and I within this time. Blessed, blessed be people. Welcome back. You see, today, peeps, we're going to talk about Jacob Miller. Jacob Miller is a legendary reggae singer from Jamaica. He has made great contribution to entertainment all over the world. So, for those viewers who do not know Jacob Miller or those viewers who do not remember, I am going to give you a quick rundown as to who Jacob Miller was. I will also give my opinion on his journey in music as also my opinions about his untimely death at the age of 27 years old. A very, very young man. Jacob Miller was born in Mandeville in the year 1952. And Jacob Miller is also an only child for his mother who is also a musician. His mother used to play piano and she was a choir singer. Jacob Miller did not know his father whose name is Desmond Elliot. As a child, Jacob Miller mostly grew up with his grand aunt because you know say he have a single mother and she have to up and running a try to get in the bread. Jacob Miller is always described by his mother as a very kind person, you know what I mean, who would always give away what he have. She also said that Jacob Miller's passion and love for music was very obvious from he was a very tender age because he used to always I use any little thing he can to make music, whether he may get to stick and beat them together like a drum, pan a pot or whatever, you know what I mean, people, but he's a youth who always make music and the mother city love for music in him from early. In 1960, at the age of 8 years old, Jacob Miller moved to Kingston and this move to Kingston proved to be a life-changing era for Jacob Miller because even though he was very young he used to always hang out around the recording studios and that is where he spent all his spare time you know when him not have school to go and any looking for the ones him free him do the studio because a music I'm true love his favorite studio was Clement Dad's studio Sir Cox one. You get a better people, which is now known as the studio one. This is because he was hoping to become the next big child star. At only the age of 13 years old, he recorded three songs for dad at the studio. Unfortunately for young Jacob Miller, his songs didn't get the attention that he was hoping it would get. You get a better people and dad never really paid the song the amount of attention that Jacob Miller thought that he would have paid to the song. So the songs were not successful but however it resulted in another producer by the name of Horace Swaby starting to become friends with Jacob Miller because he saw the potential that Jacob Miller have as an artist and that sparked his interest in Miller and he decided to do some work with him. Horace Swaby eventually launched his label in 1972 where him and Jacob Miller as also his brother did some serious work you get to master people and they created some hit songs songs like Who Se Jano Dead Each One Teach One Baby I Love You So Girl Named Pat you get a mess of people, whole heap of hit song them put out another time there. Yeah peeps, you know what I mean? And these songs became rockers, classic. And you know, King Toby used to play them song up and dub all the time. You get me? But with this musical success, you know what I mean? Jacob Miller developed himself better as a singer. So much so that he got the attention of the inner circle band who requested for him to become their lead singer in the group. To replace the previous lead singer that they had. So Jacob Miller took the job off, you know what I mean, and became the lead singer for Inner Circle Musical Band. Inner Circle Band was an emerging reggae, ba reggae band that did cover for over 40 American hit songs. Band leader Roger Lewis always admired Jacob Miller. He said that Jacob Miller is a very jovial person who is always giving jokes and having fun, you know what I mean, people? So, because of that, they thought that Jacob Miller was the perfect person to be the lead singer in the group. In the group, Jacob Miller was referred to as Jacob Killer Miller. You get me, I say, people. And in 1976, the band did very well and ended up signing a record deal with Capital Records, which was a big recording company back in that time. Inner Circle released two albums 
for Capital Records. And it was during this time that they got their first two hits from Jacob Miller. You know, dreadlocks now live in a tenement yard and tired to lick weed in a bush, you know what I mean? So Jacob Miller get them two hits song there, right there. So even though being a successful member of the group, you know what I mean? Jacob Miller continued to release solo music of which he also made more hit songs. So Jacob Miller continued to release solo hit songs. Even though the Inner Circle Band supported Jacob Miller's solo career and did the backup singing for him in most of his solo hits, Jacob Miller still went a bit further out of Inner Circle because he wanted to experiment with different styles of music, especially pop, soul, disco, funky music, and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Jacob Miller was never a person who tried to box himself in one type of music or one type of genre. One of Jacob Miller's hit song titled Baby I Love You So was featured in Grand Theft Auto in 2004 and that is decades after the passing of Jacob Miller. Just to show you the real power of music, music never dies. Jacob Miller also did acting you understand what i say people yeah man jacob miller star in a, a jamaican movie known as the rockers which star him jacob miller burning spear gregory isaac you get him as a people and a few more popular persons back then from in the music industry jacob miller also delivered one of the greatest performances of his life at the one love peace concert which was held in 1978 at the national stadium he was alongside other top acts like Bob Marley, Bonnie Wheeler, Peter Touch, Uri, Judy Moore, Dennis Brown. Because people, as you would remember, this One Love Peace concert was to unify the two rival political parties in Jamaica. In that time, it was an effort to bring a bit of unity and peace in the country. So, you know, there was a lot of tension surrounding it. Love of music brought the people together and the event ended without incidents. One of the most memorable highlights of that particular event was when Miller took a policeman at Putitan and light up a double decker big spliff in front of in front of thousands of people. And you know so the people them cheer big time. You understand people? And back in those days to smoke a spliff, you know, a straight jail thing. You get me as a people, but you know the artists them used to do for them thing back in the days. So people, now we're gonna talk about is untimely death. In 1980, Jacob Miller went with Bob Marley and Island Records founder Chris Blackwell to Brazil to celebrate Island opening new offices in South America. Not long after returning to Jamaica on Sunday the 23rd of March 1980, Miller and one of his son died in a car crash along Hope Road in Kingston, Jamaica. It is alleged that Miller was in the car with two boys. The boys did something that distracted Miller and he ended up crashing in the vehicle which took his life and also the life of one of his sons. You know people, this was a very, very sad day for Jamaica and the music and entertainment fraternity to lose a very valuable member like that. And this was in a time when Miller and the Inner Circle Band was preparing for a tour with Bob Marley and the Wheelers in America. And this was in support of his, of his, album, of, of his recently recorded album, Mix Up Moods, which was completed a short time before his death. As I know people, Miller came in the industry like a storm. He died at a young age of only 27 years old in that car accident. Since his death, a lot of persons were making speculations, you know what I mean? Wondering if it was sabotage or if somebody did something to the vehicle to cause him to end up in an accident. Some people were wondering were wondering if it's a sacrifice. You know, some people I say I hope them who be him because you know what I mean this young talent I take the world by storm and all of a sudden him just lose him life. He get a mess of people, but in my opinion, I just one of them thing that will happen in a life from time to time. I don't really think that there's anything suspicious, you know what I mean, about Jacob Miller's death. Not saying it is impossible for there to have been foul play, but 
in my opinion i don't think that there is foul play it is possible that you know what i mean a man cannot drive and meet in an accident anybody cannot drive and meet in our accident it may sound away even though if they just release him album you know what i mean people might want to say the producer them and so on and so forth but why a producer the one to get rid of a man where i'm gonna make more money going off him pocket you get the message people so that are just my opinion you know what i mean jacob miller just unfortunately lose him life in an accident you get me but regardless of the short time he had a great impact on the entertainment fraternity and he will forever be remembered as a legend and his music will always be playing around the world people that is my opinion you get me and peeps so jacob miller was also given a state funeral he was honored at least you know so the country did recognize Jacob Miller film contribution, which was a very valuable contribution to the entertainment industry and to Jamaica itself. For Jamaica to be more recognized on the map. That's my opinion. You can leave yours in the comment section. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. Jakes, when did you discover that you were going to carry the message of the Most High? From the day I hear the name of Rastafari, I know that was the calling of. I and I within this time. Saying you had a conscious awakening at that particular time. Conscious awakening is within the level of the movements within the whole realms. So you have no way I deal with at the win the cosmics right now. From a transcendental state. Saying you, what is your musical highlight so far? Highlights is within the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what well, Bambina? Because <laughs> Bambina know more about this. Where is the Bambina? You Bambina? Yeah, we're on TV, Bambina. Jacob Killer Miller. Jigs. Wow. How would you describe Roots music? Roots music. Roots music is from Rastafari, so it's it now nah, I'm not describing you know. It's not like the scribes and the season. You know, you know that. Roots music is the music that really comes from the vibes of Rasta children. Mm -hmm. And Rasta children is a ever looting within the movements right now. Cause we have to really break down all them on the plan, you know. And deal with Rasta man plan right now, you know this time. Yeah. Do you have a plan for Babylon? Well, Babylon have a plan for everyone right now, but I don't counteract Babylon plan. See? You have a seek ahead before. When you see God first, man, which is Rasta within man, man, then Pearl is last year, I don't show that, you know. So you really have to realize that, say, I just them kind of movements, though. You know what I mean, eh? Mm. Jigs, you know, they have a very nice thing in America and the rest of the world called TV. But more time, I don't really think that they utilize the force of television positively, you know. Terrible vision. Terrible vision. Terrible vision. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible vision is here to brainwash the education, man. Same. Because all we do is them been brainwashing us so long, I'm sure Starzan is the king of our jungle. Same. And that television and TV be saying all them things the pan. True. So really, it not really do no good for me. So what do you think of television? <laughs> I'm on checks that they don't utilize television correctly because most of the things that you see on television is not for the uplifting of the psychological yeah, mentality you as see, you just pointed out. Tonga show for fight against one another the same way for, for Babylon system reign. See it. You know, see it. And that's where them really have it for. For example, first night I and I was watching this movie with Muhammad Ali. Right? Oh, and yeah. I have to really think that movie is not a positive movie from black people perspective, you know. Well, I want to tell you something. See that movie you now? They might try to carry her back into the past. See it. And we don't want to go backward, we want to go forward. See, it's like, we I mean, have a but program on called Roots. Roots. Well, it's another. Everybody about Roots, and Roots is nothing but some defamating of the mentality to black people. Well, and you, well, see? you see, what I'm really trying to show you now, all Roots and all them things, is like, with a sorry back for the, the oppressors, them would not really oppress you at them time, you know, and deal with all certain things. 
Helm time, it's just rust all over, man.